problems, just situations. I'm going to bring you another video here. Again, it's on my Fire Stick. Um, I typically recommend Android boxes, but I know a lot of people have the Fire Sticks or the Fire, Fire TV boxes. I'm going to show you a, a new trick on the Android Admin app. Um, people were putting out videos and learning how to clone uh, the codes so you can have multiple, so you don't have to keep typing in different codes. I got something for you. Let's go ahead and open up Android Admin. I'm also going to share my codes with you. Don't care what you use, just know I don't host any of these files. Um, also, if you would, all I ask is you subscribe to my channel. And if you want notifications, hit that bell. Uh, okay, we're here at uh, Droid Admin. I'm going to put in my first code, which is basically. Uh, Pretty much all the APKs I've used, I use or put on my boxes, um, they're pretty up to date. I'm gonna try to keep them updated. Um, and the cool thing about most of these APKs is they automatically update. Like Terrarium, Terrarium was gonna update. Tell you when there's an update, it's gonna update on its own. Where most of them do that, but I'm still gonna try to keep the keep my codes pretty my droid admin screens pretty up to date um, and again excuse my lack of keyboard skills with this remote I um, have not used my fire stick in a while uh, eight, seven, one, eight. all right put that code in hit the play button or hit next Continue, and boom, there you go. Uh, that's mine, uh, got a good amount on there. You just go and, and most of you probably, if you're watching this video or learning or know how to use Droid Admin, you can pretty much download whatever you want. All right, I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna enter a new code. Uh, right now I only got two two uh, Android codes, uh, Droid Admin codes. I don't want to have too many. Um, but, whoops, I didn't mean to do that. Go back. Um, I'm going to go back and I'm going to clear this out and I'm going to put my second code. This one's basically a light version of the APKs, stuff that I put on my Fire Sticks if I do do them. Like I said, I try to recommend Android boxes because to me they're much better and I can do a whole lot more and I can give better support with an Android box. So just keep that in mind. If you have any questions, just shoot me an email or send me a message. Um, I'll be glad to answer the questions or post a uh, comment in the comment section. All right, the second one for the Fire Stick you know, or Fire TV or a light something if you're trying to go light, maybe a little eight, six, Eight, four, five, one, nine, eight. Again, you hit next or hit the play button. You click continue, and then here again, it's going to bring up my light version here. Okay, fire stick. That's hers. Fire sticks and boxes. So you know, it's not as much, but. You know, and I don't recommend putting all these on your Fire Stick or your TV box or your Fire TV box because, as everybody mostly knows, um, we, it is limited. Uh, a must-have is this mouse towel for Fire Stick. If people didn't know, this allows you, like in applications, I believe, like the Terrarium, where it's hard to navigate through on the Fire Stick. You, you click the information button twice, and it brings up a it brings up a, a cursor so it works pretty good uh, I'm gonna close out of here and now I'm going to show you what I've learned let's see if I can do it there we go let's see we're gonna go up so hit the little I the information button up 
it's not working. have done something different. Okay, so that was a waste of time. They've already changed it. You see the little button up here? I guess they're going to come out with a bookmark feature, which basically what the information button did, it would, it would bring up, it would bring up all the most all the recent ones and you could customize it and put names of of the uh, codes in there so if you just use a certain amount few codes like my two codes would have just come up on that screen but they apparently already updated the app again and they are planning to pretty much make a separate thing so I'll probably still post this video uh, but it's just a good, you know, so everybody has my codes at least. Uh, you're welcome to use them. I know there's a lot out there. Uh, there's, there's never too many sources for, for APKs. So, you know, I appreciate it. Uh, so let's see what this does. Delete files. Do you want to delete all files from the Droid Mando? No. All right. Yeah, they, they've made some changes already. And this, this is pretty recent. Um, they've got a disclaimer in there but that little clock button is new it used to just be the eye I don't remember seeing a clock person hey guys I had to stop that video for obvious reasons uh, droid admin, admin apparently had done an update and you no longer have the option that I was going to show you so I'm going to show you on an older version that's still on my tablet that has not updated um, what I was going to show you and basically what is to come with the bookmark uh, this was kind of a, I guess a hidden option and on my tablet if you don't hit it just right it don't work correctly but here we go I'm going to open up droid admin there's a code in there already which is uh, the code to I believe my fire stick admin which is more for li uh, lighter builds uh, for fire sticks fire tvs um so we'll go ahead and click on that it just shows you you know what i used is actually you know so we'll go back yes um of course the code's eight six eight four five one nine eight Go ahead and use it if you want. Just, I'd appreciate it if you subscribe to my channel. Um, you can go in here and I can put my other code in here, which is six, three, nine, six, eight, seven, one, eight. And this is basically all the APKs that I use right now. I'll try to keep them up to date as possible, uh, add new ones, take them away as they're obsolete, if they become obsolete. So we're going to go back here, and I'm gonna, this is actually what I really wanted to show you guys. So if you go up here on this version, you hit the little eye, you hit the little eye up here, it brings up bookmarks. And you can basically customize and label them what you want. Let's see, APK, you can customize them. It's basically like a bookmark option. Now, obviously, the, apparently, the newer version, when they do come out with it, um, it's going to have, it's going to say bookmark. It's going to be obvious what it is. So, this just makes it easier, and, it, and you can delete, delete them. As you put the codes in there, they'll populate. But as you can see, you can delete them. Yes. So, obviously, you, it's a pretty cool option. Um, and I can't wait until they do the update. I, don't, I was told the developer accidentally pushed out the, the update before he was done with it. So, 
I don't know. That's just what I was told. They didn't come from directly from the developer. But that's what... It's a pretty cool option. It makes things a lot easier. You don't have to do the whole cloning thing that some people have heard about. That I was going to do a video, but didn't get to do a video because this came out. So, that's what I wanted to show you. It, it hit a little hiccup, but it worked out. Because I still had it on my tablet. So, use my codes. My codes will be in the um, description. I appreciate it if you subscribe. Hit that notification bar, and I appreciate everybody's support.